anything our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said was preserved within the text of Islam. You will find the companions talk about every single detail of his life. And it's not like someone said it and then, oh, today we say so and so person said it. Right? Whenever the Prophet peace be upon him said something, a companion memorized it. And after he memorized it, he then transmitted it to his student. And he transmitted it to his student. He transmitted it to his student. And it came all the way down till today. And if you ask me regarding any narration that I put in front of you, anything I say that, that I attribute to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, I can sit here and tell you all of my teachers who said it to who, who said it to who, who said it to who, all the way back to we reach the name of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Right? 20 odd people be, be, lie between myself and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and every single narration that we study. So Islam has a very rich tradition. A very, very rich tradition. You want to know about the animals the Prophet peace be upon him rode? We can tell you about that. You want to know which types of meat he ate in his life? We can tell you about that. And not just say it, that he may have done this. We know for a fact he did this. You want to know which vegetables the Prophet peace be upon him ate in his life? We can tell you about that. Which fruits he consumed? We can tell you about that. You want to know about his diet? We'll tell you about that. What color he loved? We'll tell you about that. What kind of cloth he wore? We'll tell you about that. Who were the six children who urinated in his lap? We can tell you their names too. Anything you want to know about the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You want to know his forefathers names? His forefathers are who? Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim ibn Abdi Manaf ibn Qusay ibn Kilab ibn Murra ibn Ka'b ibn Lu'ay ibn Ghalib ibn Fihr ibn Malik ibn Nadir ibn Kinana ibn Khuzayma ibn Mudrika ibn Ilyas ibn Nazar ibn Ma'ad ibn Adnan. All the way back. Right? We can name all the names. You want to know to Adam alayhi salam, you'll find narrations by Ibn Kafir rahmatullahi alayhi that tell you the narration of the, the Prophet peace be upon him's lineage which links him back right to the Prophet, Prophet Adam alayhi salam, the first, the first human being on the face of this earth. Right? Everything has been preserved. As far as the message goes of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, you want to learn the Quran, you want to know about the Quran, let's learn the Quran, let's understand the Quran. The Quran is something that, this, that, that, that not just someone just, not something that someone just wrote it down and said, oh, this is the book of God. The Islamic text, the Quran was preserved with complete authenticity to the highest standard for 1400 years. And how so? Not only did the Muslims write down copies of the Quran and have it present with them for 1400 years, but yet Muslims memorized it. We always made a point to memorize the text, right? And we memorize the text from a very young age. I still recall I completed my memorization of the entire Quran, page by page, verse by verse, word by word, vowel by vowel, dot by dot, and the very same way the Prophet Muhammad peace be, upon, peace be upon him recited it when I was only 10 years old. And we would come to the mosque and we would listen to the, the, the leader of the prayer reciting. And if he ever made a mistake, for those Muslims that have been there, right? If the prayer, if the leader in the, in the mosque is, is praying and he makes a little mistake, what happens? The Muslims, they sit there and they, they, do they tolerate the mistake? They jump on it. Brother, you just made a mistake there. You better not say, Ahdina Salat al Mustaqim, otherwise I'm going to pound you. It's Ahdina Salat al Mustaqim. Read it, read it right. right? You don't say Sirat al Mustaqim. Pronunciation to the detail.